Okay. Cannot start. Uh, incompatibility. Right, sure. Okay, that makes sense. It shouldn't. Shouldn't be able to start. Hopefully, though. Hopefully. We can just start it from DOS. Because it is from 1994. So before Windows 95. So I don't know what else to, what else to use except for DOS. So we will change directory to D. Oh, we just have, we don't do that. We just do D. Okay, so the change the CD prefix for DOS is only within whatever drive you're in, right? You only need to do that whenever if you're switching drives, you don't need it. Changing directory is the changing the, you know, folder within the drive. Yes. Okay. That's, that's why I was like, why don't you have to do CDD? Cause you're not changing directory, you're changing drives. Same letter. So, all right, there it is. Let's do install. Easy peasy. Boyer needs to create, uh, <laughs> I grabbed my mouse again. Like that ever is going to work. Boyer needs to create a directory on your hard disk, approximately 200 bytes? Is that a lot? Seems high. Uh, this directory will be where you start Voyeur from. Okay. Which drive? Well, I'd like to install it on C, but I, I want to install it on CD Ramathon. I don't know how to, I guess I'll just press enter. Oh, there we go. Destination directory. So we go like that. Got it. Show stop right now, thank you for 40 months. So, sound card, sound SB16. That's me all the way. Select your sound card's DMA number? A gonna give it to you. A gonna give it to you. <laughs> DMA. Ho, ho. What you really want? Um. <laughs> Showstopper NL, thank you for the 40 months. I might have already said that. Anyway. Isn't C in DOSBox already CD Ramathon? I don't. That's a good question. I'm not sure. We'll, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I have fucking no idea, man. What is my sound card's DMA number? Um, DMA stands for direct memory access. Oh. Okay. So it's got to be something in the DOSBox files, yeah? Uh, options, options. There, nope. It not reset. There it is. Okay. There it is. Ah, DMA numbers of the Sound Blaster, possible vibes 150367. Well, that doesn't fucking help me. That's a lot of numbers. That's like all of the numbers. Uh, port 220, IRQ7, DMA1. Okay, okay. Oh, it shows right there. DMA1. There it is. Just got to scroll down a little bit. It's right there. 
Okay, I got it. No worries. No problem. We all good. Nope. Oh. There. Uh, oh shit. I hope one was the top one. Shit! Okay. Now, hold on a second. Mm. Half a mount. Okay, so... Mount C. See that, see that command right there? Mount C, the second one down, CD Ramathon. Drive C is mounted as local directory CD Ramathon. So does that mean the C drive in DOS? I don't need to. I don't need to like add anything else. It'll automatically put it in the CD Ramathon folder. Anything from DOS is that what I'm understanding? Okay, correct. Okay, so I don't need to do that like I did last time. All right. <clears throat> Sound blast 16. One. IRQ number. Uh, it's 220. Oh, that's the port number. Port is two, 220. IRQ is seven. Right. Um, would you like to change any of your choices? Oh, shit. I could have just changed my choices here. Pfft, idiot. Okay. I think I'm good. Install was successful. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. Okay. I bet the installation will just copy a single text file. It seems like it did. Yeah. Uh, type voyeur in the de destination directory being played. Okay. okay. <laughs> 2 files. Install dat voyeur bat. Install dat. I got my boy, boy your bat. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, we got sound, we got sight. We're doing it. Hey Zeke, love the thumbnail. Well, don't just say that, our die, our 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 day. Fucking put it on Imgur and show it to me. Oh, say you're sorry that it's so easy. I'm sorry this was such an easy install. Interplay with its president, Brian Fargo, who is a close personal friend of mine. <laughs> I met him once. And not in person. All right. Enter the code. What? <clears throat> okay, so on the back, there is something I want to read to you on the back, though. On the back of the Voyeur game, it says, You're about to embark on a new and exciting journey, one that will fill you with a sense of wonder and discovery. Light and sound will mix like a kaleidoscope to thrill you as never before. At Interplay, we believe that creating a new experience such as this requires more than just using the latest advances. Technology simply provides us with new tools to invent a product that is bigger, better, and more exciting than anything we've ever done before. And the CD-ROM provides us with a larger canvas on which to create our vision. What makes this title unique is how we have used this new medium to develop an entertaining product. Our approach is similar to an integrated Hollywood studio where we combine the talents of many uh, creative individuals, writers who put thoughts into words, artists who give words an image, musicians who enhance the image with sound, and programmers who magically combine technology with art to make it all a reality. Our producers challenge all to create a product that will bring many hours of quality entertainment. Every step of the way, our staff is totally de dedicated to this goal. But all of these efforts would be in vain if you should have a problem, however minor, with your purchase. Your satisfaction is very important, and our customer service department is here to help. So please put them to task. Interplay is committed to providing you with the highest quality entertainment products in the mid 
or in the, I almost said Midwest, in the market for your enjoyment. I'm very excited about the direction we're heading, and I'd like to thank you for giving us this opportunity to share our vision. Brian Fargo, President. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Bri Bri. Hey, Brian. Hey, hey, Brian. Oh, architecture with 18 months. I have nothing interesting to say here. Love the CD-Ramadans. Well, thank you. That's interesting enough. I appreciate you. John Gibson has gifted a sub to She Rocks. She Rocks. Welcome back for the second month. Um, enter the code. That's a terrible, this is some terrible noises. I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan so far. Um, that actually, funny thing is, that actually looks like boobs with the font <laughs> and the pixelation. That really looks like boobs. Man. <laughs> One more, one more. No, okay. Oh my God, are you kidding me? It doesn't need like a... I know I clicked exit. Oh, I said it was going to be easy. I knew I fucked myself. No, you fucked me. Whoever said that fucked me. Try three, 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 three. Okay. 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 Oh. Really? That is weird. Oh shit, we getting right into it. Let's go. Grace Zabrisky. To Grace Zabrisky. Looking for me? Not too easy with that thing, lady. Shut up! Put these on. They're not my size. Now put these shoes on. Now tuck your penis and say, I'm a dirty little girl. Do it. Anything I want. Anything you want. Wow, that's some, that's some dry humping. Man, you're gonna rub his wiener raw, dude. Good day, Hope Manor. Yes, everything is ready. Uh, I have them for you, sir. Frank? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid Frank's tied up right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, it was a cell phone. Oh, it was a cell phone. Okay. Christ, come on, get me out of these things. Damn. <laughs> Stop. Come on, Chantel. Stop being poor, give me more money. There's always time.
time for games. Good right. job, Jalen. All right, all right, all right. Okay, look, I'll, I promise I'll do the Peruvian sheep herd thing if you just let me up. Now, come on. Oh, Frank, Frank, Frank. You know, I wonder what the future president of the United States would think if he finds you cuffed to his bed. This is not funny. Ooh, his head of security. Right. Huh? Chantal. Oh, um, Uncuff me. Damn it. Me. Wait a minute, is this oh, Gerald's there, game? There, there, there. Oh, so serious. Get back here. Have fun, Frank. Shut down. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Saturday afternoon. Player's apartment. Oh shit. We're playing at the player's apartment. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the player, hate the apartment. Listen carefully, this will be the last time I can contact you. I can use my mouse. We've got to stop, Reed Hawk. Everything you need is in the apartment. You've received the dossiers on the different family members, and the video camera's set up and ready to go. If you can get incriminating evidence on tape, call the police. But make sure it's solid. This will be our last chance. Look, this guy's capable of anything. Maybe you can figure out a way to warn the family members if they're in danger. But for God's sake, be careful. The future of this country's at stake. We're counting on you. Okay. I just, uh, I just Googled the uh, voyeur manual and there is a disclaimer. Voyeur is an interactive murder mystery originally released in the mid-90s which features live-action cutscenes. It is a point-and-click political thriller with a mystery for the player to solve, and although it features no nudity... Sorry, guys. The footage does contain mild, non-explicit sexual content. Characters clothed in their underwear, adult language, and other mature themes. The player, equipped with a video camera from the vantage point of their apartment, peers in on the lives of the Hawk family through the windows of Hawk Manor. <clears throat> Experiencing the thrill of the voyeur, the player sits in wait, watching and listening as the family's twisted affairs unfold. Combining the suspense of Hitch Hitchcock's rear window, rear window, with the then new technology of full motion video, along with oh, this is a disclaimer. This is like a new disclaimer. Oh. Oh well. Uh, along, along an elaborate cast of accomplished Hollywood actors, including I Spy's Robert Culp and Twin Peaks' uh, Grace Zabriskie. Wait, she was in Twin Peaks? So that lady in her laundry was in Twin Peaks, I think. Maybe. Uh, Voyeur was revolutionary for its, for its day. Yeah, this is an old thing. Oh, this is just a text file. This isn't the actual manual. This is just someone copy pasted the uh, text file. Okay. Uh, Droigan, thank you for the 35 months. Hendrix89 with three. Love your work. Keep it up, dude. Thank you. And Jay Lang, thank you for 300 bits. Okay. Oh, time is a critical factor in gameplay. You have only the weekend. To observe clues, uh, ending at 10.30 p.m. on Sunday, to observe clues and take action. The time of day is shown at the top of the camera screen. The battery gauge on the left side of the viewfinder indicates the amount of time remaining. Okay. The well, scene's playing simultaneously in several rooms, so it is, it's night, uh, night trap-ish. Okay. Select View Hawk Manor. There we go. Okay. To start the game. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if... Is time always running, or does time only run when... When I'm looking... When I'm voyeuring? Is there somewhere to see a whole list of games for the month? Yeah, dude, right there! Hell yeah. Oh, there's the man. Okay. This is, is, this is the actual manual. Nope, this is the same one I opened. This is not the actual manual. This is like a text file. Like I want, I want someone who like photocopied the uh, the old manual. Okay. 
Uh, what up, Bill? As a voyeur, you can try to prove the police to the police that Reed Hawk has committed murder. Try to save the family member Jeopardy. Watch without getting involved. Okay. Okay, so Voyeur is abandoned. It's on abandonware. Hmm. So I'm just I'm just trying to find. Oh shit, Voy oh it's on Steam too. I didn't know this was on Steam, that's crazy. Didn't even look. Oh well. Oh, oh, oh! Someone find it? You find it? Oh, this is loading. This is promising. If it's if it needs to load, that means it's probably pictures. Oh, there we go. That's the ticket right there. You betcha. Whoops. Yeah, that's the shiznits. That's the shiznits. If it's on Steam, it most certainly isn't abandonware. Well, it's on abandonware is all I'm saying. Yeah, son. Look at that. Oh, baby. There it is. Yep. Reed, Margaret. Oh, oh, so, uh... There we... Okay. Well, here's a political thriller, which allows you from the Vanish Party Department to look in the, the Hawk Manor, right? Reed Hawk, CEO of Hawk Industries, decided to run for the, uh, the presidency of the United States. Okay, this is new information. He has gathered his family together for the weekend to prepare them for the announcement of his candidacy. Hawk is unaware that certain members of the family do not want him to become president, and one of them is prepared to reveal a dark family secret that will destroy him. Hawk will do whatever it takes, including murder, to ensure his family's silence. Each time Warrior plays, a different member of the family tries to betray Hawk. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Warrior must be played multiple times to see all of the plot twists and dirty deeds. Beautiful. Uh, has scenes of uh, and strong language. Oh, suggestive scenes of strong language. A lockout system. Right. Um... Okay. Oh, as you view the mansion and the scenes within its windows through the camera, the minutes tick by in real time. Okay, so you have to be watching through the camera for the time to go. Okay. Battery gauge on the left side of the viewfinder indicates the amount of time remaining for the next time change. When time is running out, this gauge will flash. Okay. With scenes playing simultaneously in several different rooms, each game depends on which windows you choose to view. If you're looking at a bedroom, you know, bedroom window, you may miss what is happening down in the kitchen and so on. Mm-hmm. From your part and use button, use button one. Button one. <laughs> not left mouse click, not left, button one. Just select watch the news. Or select view Hawk Manor to begin the game. Okay. Okay. All right, so. Oh, that was a CDI manual. That's why button one. So in CDI, they were they were labeled one, two, and three, weren't they? Yep. Never mind. Okay. I need to get me a CDI, man. I need to do, get me a CDI and do some CDI like a CDI week. That'd be fucking. That'd be fun as shit. Trying to get that shit working. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh man, two FPS. Will he or won't he? State of the this art. This is Tish Van Alden, and that's the hot question on everybody's lips during this primary season. Billionaire bachelor and business genius Reed Hawk. She's got the shoulder pads of a fucking linebacker. Well, hang on to your hats, folks, because he's gathering his flock this weekend to help him reach a decision. And when the hawks get together, the feathers are bound to fly. I mean, imagine how his son Zachary must feel after his sudden promotion off the missile defense system project. Just in time for it to propel dear old I immediately suspect him. House. Getting a little chilly in Daddy's shadow, Zach. And there's daughter Jessica winging also, away Also, Phillips, is that to avoid copyrights? new bow and their own unique brand of environmental Like, capitalism. labeling the TV a zony? Well, you may be a big success back in the land of the rising yen. But really, Jessica, considering your father's America first ideals, isn't this just asking for trouble? And of course, Reed's sister Margaret will be there to Oh, that's how it is spelled. Okay. Lady but Margaret, dear, please show some restraint. Rumor has it you're already shopping for your inaugural gown and planning the ball. Well, you better plan on trouble if your daughter Chloe shows up sporting her usual leather look. My God. Reed has paid a fortune trying to keep his niece's escapades out of the tabloids. Can you imagine what it'll cost him as president? Oh, wouldn't you just love to be a fly on the wall and listen in? Yes. Uh, now we've gotten word that Reed Hawk is arriving at Hawk Manor. We go live to Jay Jacobson at the scene. Mr. Hawk? Mr. Hawk, sir, how do you feel about being ahead in the latest presidential polls? Sounds like folks are ready for a change, doesn't it? Is that Donald Mr. Rumsfeld? Ended the threat of nuclear war. That dude that looks just like Donald Rumsfeld with this graphic. Never said I was. I leave that to the people to decide. Without the glasses. Isn't it a fact you've already decided to spend whatever money you have to in order to buy this election, sir? Look at him! Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I know you. Jacobson, Channel 6. Well, Mr. Jacobson, my family always comes first. Uh, we're going to spend the next two days talking it over, and then I will decide about accepting the people's mandate. Now, if you're asking me, is the future of our country and the welfare of our children worth my risking my personal fortune? The answer is a resounding yes, it is. Okay? Have a great weekend, folks. Still no decision from Reed Hawk. We'll bring you further reports as this story develops. Oh, uh, that's Robert Culp, I think, from I Spy. Oh, yeah, you guys, yeah, I was looking it up and you guys already had it. Well, don't I feel like an asshole? Okay, so there's only, only a few things to do. View Hawk Manor, call the police. Stop being poor, give me more money. You could stop being poor and give me more money. That's another thing you can do, definitely. You can, you can totally do that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Vile Dreams. Send the tape or quit. Oh, we're gonna we can review the the the, the really tame sex scene that we've already seen. Okay. Oh oh down uh, it's not like I thought it was like fast forward and stuff, but no, it's just that okay. All right, let's watch this closely. Watch it closely. There might be clues. Now that we know there's no nudity in it, we can watch without uh, without worry. Speaking of that, did someone did someone take a snap, a screenshot of that uh, thumbnail? I'd love to see it. On. God, I wish there were subtitles. What are you gonna do? 
What are you gonna do? Anything I want. Anything you want. That's 100% Alabama Black Snake, and it ain't too Boku. Good day, Hope Manor. Yes, everything is ready. Uh, I have them for you, sir. Frank? God damn it, can you give oh, me a hand here? I'm pushing rope. Right can you thumb it in for me? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What's going on? Christ, come on, get me out of these things. Damn. <laughs> come on, Chantel, there's no time for games. Get me out of these things. There's always time for games, Frank. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay so this is Chantel and Frank. I promise I'll do the Peruvian sheep herd thing if you just let me up. Now, come on. Oh, Frank, Frank, Frank. You know, I wonder what the future president of the United States would think if he finds you cuffed to his bed. This is not funny. Is God damn it! Chantel, um, uncuff me! Damn it! Uncuff me! Oh, Frank, there, 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 there! Oh, so serious! Get Fucking back there. here! Have fun, Frank. Chantel! <laughs> damn it! God damn it! All right. No, I wasn't. While I was listening, listening is probably more important than watching, given the graphical limitations. Chantel and Frank. Yo, Vile Dreams, popping in with 10, get the subs! Can we stop this cruel game? And give me more get the subs, for God's sakes! Uh, Slip Curve at 48 before that, sorry. Thank you for four years, interesting thing to join in on, yeah. Thank you very much, four motherfucking years. And Vile Dreams giving out subs to Cloud the Viking, Squanto, L.A. F La Fletcher, Laud, Laud Baguette, three off 10, Dan Aaron, Mortifying Penguin, Kuda, double zero one, uh, no big cat anywhere but here in Scooby Drew. Hail! Oh, Eberzigas. Wow, that was really off key. Okie dokie. So, there is no. I don't have a Frank. Oh, Frank Stewart. Ah, Frank Stewart is Reed's head of security. So the head of security was boffing Chantel Pousset, who is Reed's personal assistant. Okay. <laughs> I'm abbreviating it as Reed's ass. Reed's ass. Okay. Exit. Okay, so. We're gonna go. Let's do this. Dude, Zeke, hilarious. I don't need your I don't need your uh, confirmation on that, Scott. You can go ahead and keep it to yourself. I know I know I'm hilarious. All right, Saturday at 4 p.m. Oh shit, I left the lens cap on, damn it. Oh, fuck, I got. That's how we do it, okay. Um. Out, out. Um, back out, back out. How do I change? How do I change? Shit. Um. Yeah, button two, right? I don't know what button two is. 
on a mouse. That's that's CDI controls. I press the mouse buttons. I just went through every single one, dude. I went through all the F keys. I went through all of the, the keyboard keys. Like I can't even press escape here. Uh, that was all tab that I just did. Yeah, escape doesn't do anything here. Right click doesn't do anything. To view evidence, click left on. Oh, to exit the room and return to the exterior of Hogmanor, click the right mouse button while it is not on any evidence. While it is not on any evidence. Oh. Frank, order more whiskey. P.S. Meet me in the bar tonight or else. From C, could be Chantel. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. I'm wondering if this, it's probably this. That's got to be what it is. Because maybe it does that when DOSBox opens. That's, I, I'm, it has to be. That has to be it. Yep. Yep. Fuck. All right. Um... Oh, Super Sea Lion's got to go bye-bye. Okay. There he goes, Animac. I got him. Now. Oh, if you want to interrupt any of you Okay. Going back to my manner. Okay, okay. I, I. It's because I had an I had my uh, my mouse to do auto stuff in uh, in DOSBox for a different game. So my right click, oh don't get caught. See that? So my right click was not doing what it's supposed to. Oh, that's the quit scene. Oh, the quit scene does like credits. Okay. Yo, Kanaka, thank you for 45 months. No flux given, thank you for eight. And then Dolly Dinosaur with 18, baby. What was your most voyeuristic moment? Was it sausage? Mmm, sausage. Was it sausage? I mean, most? That's, that's a weird, that's a weird, uh, uh, qualifier. I mean, my most memorable one was, uh, when my, uh, when my dad and stepmom were having sex in the bedroom right above mine, I was in the basement. That sucked. 
I can hear Listen him carefully. straight this through the, the vent. Last time I can contact you. We've got okay. to stop Reed Hawk. Everything you need is in the apartment. Okay. You've received the dossiers on the different family members, and the video cameras set up and ready to go. Have I received dossiers? If you the dossier? can get incriminating evidence on tape, are they talking about the manual? The but make sure it's solid. This will be our last chance. Look, this guy's capable of anything. Maybe you can figure out a way to warn the family members if they're in danger. But for God's sake, be careful. The future of this country's at stake. We're counting on you. Yeah, I don't see the dossier anywhere. Hmm. Okay. So I'm not sure if I have to watch this again in order to, like, pro progress what comes on the television, but Will I'm going he to. Will or won't he? This is Tish Van Alden, and that's the hot question on everybody's lips during this primary season. Billionaire bachelor and business genius Reed Hawk has yet to commit himself to the race for the Oval Office. Okay. Well, hang on to your hats, folks, because he's gathering his flock this weekend to help him reach a decision. And when the Hawks get together, the feathers are bound to fly. I like mean, imagine my feathered hair. how his son Zachary must feel after his sudden promotion off the missile defense system project. Just in time for it to propel dear old dad into the White House. Getting a little chilly in daddy's shadow, Zach? And there's daughter Jessica winging her way in from Japan with a new bow and their own unique brand of environmental capitalism. Well, you may be a big success back in the land of the rising yen. But really, Jessica, considering your father's America first ideals, isn't this just asking wow. for trouble? Wow, America first, still and a thing. of course, Reed's sister Great. Margaret will be there to stake her claim to first ladydom. But Margaret, dear, please show some restraint. Rumor has it you're already shopping for your inaugural gown and planning the ball. Well, you better plan on trouble if your daughter Chloe shows up sporting her usual leather look. My God. Reed has paid a fortune trying to keep his niece's escapades out of the tabloids. Can you imagine what it'll cost him as president? Oh, wouldn't you just love to be a fly on the wall and listen in? Yes. Uh... Now we've gotten word that Reed Hawk is arriving at Hawk Manor. We go live to Jay Jacobson at the scene. Okay. Mr. Hawk, Mr. Hawk, sir, how do you feel about being ahead in the latest presidential polls? Sounds like folks are ready for a change, doesn't it? Your missile defense shield has virtually ended the threat of nuclear war, but does that make you the best? <laughs> word auto weapon? on the screen looks like Never a circumcised so dick. That to the people to decide. Come on, Mr. Hawk, isn't it a fact you've already decided to spend whatever money you have to in order to buy this election, sir? Excuse me, uh, I don't think I know you. Jacobson, Channel 6. Well, Mr. Jacobson, my family always comes first. Uh, we're going to spend the next two days talking it over. I thought America's we'll first. About accepting the people's mandate. Which one is it, Mr. Hawk? Now, if you're asking me, is the future family of our or America first? The welfare of our children worth my risking my personal fortune? Dr. Claw, thank you for 51 months. Is resounding. Yes, it is. Okay? Have a great weekend, folks. Who's that peeking in my window? Thank you, Mr. Dark Claw. Mr. McMorrimer, thank you for 11 months. Why, right? Thank you for 30 deep. Can I go ahead? Thank you for 30, uh, 45. Okay. So, Frank, head of security, is fucking Chantel, Reed's assistant. Zach is the son. Uh,. He got, he, he said he got promoted, but it sounded like he got demoted from like the, uh, the, the Department of Defense or whatever. Uh, Jess is the daughter of Reed. Uh, Margaret's Reed's sister. Chloe is, Chloe is his, his niece. Also daughter, Margaret's daughter. <laughs> She's the scandalous one. Okay.
just giving them their own like little files here on my uh, on my notepad. Okay. Frank, head of security. Chantel, Reed's assistant. Zach is the son. Jess is the daughter. Margaret's the sister. And Chloe is the daughter of Margaret. Let's go. To the camera. Um, there we go. M.H. Personal Journal, Margaret Hawk. Oh, Margaret loves Valium. Margaret's a pill head. That's Chloe, her daughter. Oh, okay. Wow, they don't give you a lot of time. Wow, it's already fucking 4 p.m.? Jesus. Oh, the eyeball means there's something happening? Oh, there was something happening and I fucking missed it. Oh, it starts at 4 p.m.? No, I thought it started at like 8 something a.m. Oh shit, the note's not there anymore. Oh, dear, dear Zach, please be a dear and play my favorite sonata. Even though your father never appreciated your talents as a pianist, <laughs> I've always loved your music, Aunt Margaret. The ba it's not the time, it's the battery that... Oh, listen. Frankie boy, seem to be in need of additional training. I'll see you in my office. I caught some of those words. I'll see you in your office? Like, what the fuck? Frank is in need of some initial, like, additional training? Oh, read in Elizabeth. So, uh, Elizabeth is... Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Wow, he got a letter from Ronald Reagan. He got a, a fucking telegram from Ronald Reagan. Wow. Okay. I don't. Why did it change? Okay, Elizabeth Reed's dead wife. Ronald Reagan, the actor? Shit. Chloe, welcome home. Found Mr. Teddy. Love, Mom. Oh, Mom and Chloe. Look at that. Now, hold on a second. I didn't touch anything to make that telegram pop up. Do I just have to wait? I'm 
mean, I don't want to. Shit! 7 p.m. is already... It's already done. Three hours later? Oh, we're on the next day. Oh, no. Hold on. Only 30 minutes went by that time? What did three hours go by the first time? Oh, this is the same place. Shit. Two worlds colliding. Why interracial relationships don't work? Dear Jess, this is probably none of my business, but I just thought you should be aware, Aunt Margaret. Oh, uh, so Masa, Masa Endo, who we haven't met yet, M-A-S-A, uh, E-N-D-O, first name Masa, last name Endo, is Jess's, Jessica's boyfriend. And... I don't know what endo, masa endo is. I don't know what like nationality that name is, but it's Asian, I'd guess. Japanese, Chinese, Filipino. It's Japanese, okay. I, I didn't want to assume it was Japanese. It sounded Japanese to me, but all right. So that's Jess's boyfriend. What's that? Jessica, the top drawer has been cleared for you, Aunt Margaret. Oh, okay. Shit. That's it. Uh, Banana Joe, thank you for 19 months. Oh, so just another 30 minutes goes by. And my camera broke. Shit. I haven't seen any scenes yet. I'm just gathering evidence, it looks like. Leather specialties for Frank. Oh, right. So, yeah, Frank Frank and Chantel. Or Chantal or whatever. He's into leather. What's this? Pre oh, press release. Reed Hawk. Mr. Hawk was raised with his sister, Margaret by their father, Charles Hawk. A popular student, Reed Hawk excelled in sports and graduated with honors from the U.S. Naval Academy. He was a fighter pilot and was America's youngest ace. Uh, credited with downing eight enemy aircraft following the war, Mr. Hawk was recruited into America's space program. After a distinguished career as an astronaut, he founded Hawk Industries. Today, Hawk Industries is ranked among the top 10 businesses in Fortune 500. Wow. We got... This Tony Tony Stark and Reed Hawk, are they the same person? I think they're the same person. Mr. Hawk was married to Elizabeth Anderson of Savannah, Georgia. Miss Hawk bore her husband two children, Jessica and Zachary, before passing away in 1980. Preliminary polls have established uh, Reed Hawk as a strong presidential candidate, candidate in the upcoming election. Stop being poor, give me more money. Uh, born in 1957, oldest of the Hawk children, Miss Hawk was uh, graduated with honors from Wellesley and received an MBA from Stanford Business School. In 1989, she founded Enco, not Enrot, Enco. Uh, in her interracial day, relationships don't work. No, Scott. No, no, no. Do no. Do not. I am missing all of this, you motherfucker! 
I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Zachary Hawk, Reed Hawk's only son, born in 1960, a music prodigy, Zachary Hawk began composing at age nine and received numerous awards and toured extensively as a concert pianist. Following, following college, he was brought Stop into being poor. Give me more money. <laughs> oh, he hasn't changed it yet. He's just testing it. Just wanted to see my reaction to it. Research and Development Division. Although Zachary Hawk was initially involved in the uh, M MDS Missile Defense System, he has since moved on to other projects. Oh, okay. Zachary Hawk is married to Laura Taylor of Seattle, Washington. No children. Okay. Reed Hawk's, uh, Margaret Hawk is Reed Hawk's younger sister, has shared a household with the Hawk family for the last 22 years. Since the untimely death of Reed's wife, Elizabeth, Margaret has been in charge of the Hawk family household. Miss Hawk has received several awards for her fundraising efforts. And her continued support of organizations devoted to disadvantaged children led to the adoption of her daughter, Chloe. Oh, Chloe's adopted. Uh, adopted by Margaret Hawk at an early age, she excelled in ballet and other creative endeavors. Presently, Miss Hawk is on sabbatical. Okay. A lot of information. Hopefully, we, won't, we probably won't have to do that again, I'd imagine. Okay. Uh, JLC, thank you for 300 bits. What was that? Nothing. It was nothing. You shut up. TT McPeep, thank you for 94 months. Okay, we've changed days. Now we're, we are now on Sunday. Now I'm I'm curious. If I go out, leave the leave the viewfinder, and then go back in, will it still be the same time, or does time pass? Time only pass when I'm looking in a room. Okay, time only passes when I'm looking in a room. Okay. So the more stuff I look at, the longer the time goes. Okay. So you got your third Moderna shot. I'm immortal. <laughs> well, I got my booster, man. So I, I'm guessing like there's no pause. You just kind of just, you can just hang out in the apartment. Uh, let me see here. All right. Is there, like, I'm wondering if there's probably no saving the game, right? You don't need to save. Excuse me, I, don't, I wouldn't think you need to save it, right? Yeah, you do, I'm guessing you just you just get so used to where to look and stuff, you can just gather the evidence and do what you want with it. Okay, just got here. How much of this game did I miss? Not much at all. Not much at all. Uh, we just we just went through the first day and uh, we just got some, just some. We haven't seen any any new videos yet. We haven't recorded anything new yet. We've been missing all of the action because we've been just getting text information. All right, I gotta pee. So uh, we'll take a break. <laughs> 